this is the best pesto pasta recipe on earth. It's also one of the simplest five ingredient dinners that I know of. Oh, want some? You know you do. Plus, I've got the three secrets to making incredible homemade pesto from scratch that's cheaper and better than anything you can get in the store. All right, to get started, I'm going to boil a great big huge pot of water to cook the pasta. I have found a lot of my students say they'd like to know how to cook pasta so it doesn't stick together. I gotta tell you, the best way is to cook it in lots and lots of water and stir it often. It's as simple as that. You don't need to add oil, but you do need lots of water. All right, boiling. Now something else that's really important whenever you're cooking pasta is you have to salt the water. And you can't just put like a little dinky little sprinkle. No, 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 no. You need like a couple of teaspoonfuls of salt. You want that water to actually be salty. This is the only chance that I get to add flavor to the pasta itself. The sauce is gonna be delicious, but I've gotta add the salt so that this pasta tastes good. So to serve two to three people, I'm gonna use about half a bag. This is a one pound bag of pasta. Doesn't wanna open. We'll go ahead and use my scissors on that. This is one pound, so I want about half of that. And I'm really just gonna eyeball it. I mean, it's a busy weeknight, right? If you have a little bit too much, all the better for tomorrow's leftovers. So I'll get my pasta out, pop it into my water. And then make sure that you check how long the pasta is supposed to cook. Um, I find that you can trust the cooking times when it's pasta that's made in Italy. So this says from 12 to 14 minutes. I'm gonna trust them. I am gonna go with the lower number though. So as soon as this comes back up to a boil, I'm gonna set my timer for 12 minutes. To make this into pesto pasta, of course, I need pesto. And I happen to have this beautiful parsley pesto that I pulled out of my freezer. Now, parsley pesto is my absolute favorite type of pesto for a bunch of reasons. I got some great secrets about it, how to make it so affordable and so easy all year round. But I need about a half a cup of this pesto. So I'll spoon that out just into a measuring cup. and green this is, how thick and rich. Well, would you believe that this pesto is incredibly affordable to make? Um, I make my pesto with parsley instead of with basil because it's cheaper and it's just as good if not better. And to tell you the truth, I can get great parsley all year round. I can't really get good basil all year round, certainly not for a good price. I also keep the cost down with this pesto um, by going a little bit off book in terms of what's traditional. Instead of using pine nuts, which are super expensive, I use toasted almonds or walnuts, which are a lot more affordable. And instead of using extra virgin olive oil when I'm making the pesto, actually pulsing it into this paste, I just use canola oil. It lets the flavor sing out and it's a lot less expensive. Now, when I put this whole dish together, I am definitely gonna be adding some extra virgin olive oil for flavor, but not nearly as much as I would have to put into the pesto if I was using it there. If you want the recipe and the how-to video for that delicious parsley pesto, I will link to it in the description below. So I've got about a minute left here. Things are looking good. At the very, very last minute, just as soon as the timer goes, I'm going to add some baby spinach. So this is what I love about this recipe. It's a one pot meal and you've got your greens, you've got your pesto and you've got your pasta in one beautiful bowl. So it makes it a lot easier to just add the, add the spinach right in with the boiling water. As well, just before I drain it, I like to reserve a little bit of the pasta cooking water. So the pasta cooking water is salty, it's got a nice little bit of starch in it from the pasta, and it can really help to make a bit of a sauce. If I need a little extra water, I like to use pasta cooking water. And I just take a coffee cup, 
with a handle, dunk it in and get a little bit of that water out. Ooh, don't get too close, You'll burn your fingers. All right, there is time. So let's add that spinach right in. And then as soon as it's in, I'll drain the whole pot. All right, let's drain this. And after the pasta and spinach is drained, that can go right back into the cooking pot. Okay, now for the pesto. In that goes, but you see, because the pesto is so thick, it might need a little help from that pasta cooking water. Just to kind of turn itself into a sauce. Just a couple tablespoonfuls. And now, time to toss, toss and toss until everything gets really nicely coated. And if the pesto or the spinach look like they are sticking together too much, you can always add another tablespoon or two of that delicious cooking water. I said I would add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil at the end, so I will add a couple tablespoonfuls. This is the good stuff. Now, extra virgin olive oil, it's one of the very few ingredients, seven in fact, ingredients that I think are worth spending any kind of money on. Everything else just buy no name and discount. But extra virgin olive oil has a ton of flavor when you buy the good stuff. So you wanna spend closer to $20 than $2 as a rough rule of thumb. It's got so much flavor, I always add it at the end so it doesn't cook too much and it doesn't lose that beautiful flavor. One final ingredient here, some freshly grated Parmesan. I want about a quarter of a cup, but you know what? They measure Parmesan with your heart, so you do you, okay? Whoops. That's too much. Okay, let's try that again. There, there now. What in the hippity hop? Mm, here we go. Adrian, what is happening here? Hold the phone, people. Okay, there we go. What is wrong with this thing? Oh, I see. Everything's fine. It was right, right side down. Ah, now we're talking. Just toss that in. Of course, you can serve some more on the side when you plate it up. But look at how luscious and gorgeous that is. Five ingredients, so affordable. An incredibly delicious pot of deliciousness. Can you say that? Is that allowed? Wow. Next up, I'm just gonna plate it up. So just a little bit of extra Parmesan, why not? Oh my goodness, what a delicious dinner this is going to be. I've got my spinach, I've got my pesto. All I need is my fork. Here it is, look at that, a bowl of pesto pasta. The best pesto pasta I think that you can get anywhere. And I made it from scratch and it only took me a few minutes. All that's left for me to do is eat it. And I think I'm good, I think I'm good for that. Hey, if you're interested in some other terrific five ingredient easy weeknight dinners, check out these other videos. For the full recipe of this delicious dish, check the link in the description below. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. Life is complicated. Oh, cooking shouldn't be. Happy cooking. Mm. So good.